everybody and welcome to Team Asylum. Today I'll be showing you how to make a 1.6.2 server. First of all, head over to your internet browser and type in minecraft.net. Once you're there, log into your Minecraft account. If you have one and press download now. Then what you want to do is download the minecraft underscore server 1.6.2 jar. This should update every time a new server is released, but I'm going to show you how to do it the standard way. You can run it with a Minecraft server exe, but then you can't allocate RAM, and depending on, um, it's a lot harder to allocate RAM basically. So with this, just download that, press keep, There's, it doesn't have a virus, it just doesn't trust the jar file, but then put that onto your desktop. And then new folder and call this anything you want. I'm, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to call it server. Oops, put that wrong. Server. Then place the jar file inside the new folder that you just made. Then what you want to do is rename this to something like Minecraft or just MC server. Then inside the folder, right click new, text document, and then call this launch. And this is the command you're going to use to launch the server. Then head back over to minecraft.net and have a look for this code here after the word with. And then copy all of this, control C, and then edit the back file, I mean the, the text document. And we're going to make a back file, so paste that in there, file, save as, launch, and then put, at the end of it, put .bat, save as type, all files, save. Now this isn't going to work straight away, so to make this work, we're going to edit the back file, and have a look at what's inside. So Java, obviously, because Minecraft's run on Java. XMX 1024M means it's going to run with 1024 megabytes of RAM. So in other words, one gigabyte of RAM. So we're going to leave that now, because I have four gigabytes of RAM, so I can allocate a quarter of that. Then Minecraft server is what you're going to actually run. Because this is renamed to MC server, I'm going to type in MC server, and then the file type .jar. Then we're going to save this, exit, and then double click the launch BAT. And then whilst we wait for this to um, launch, it should load up this window. And then it will prepare a world. So what we have is we have the terminal or the, the command, the command prompt, which is which is standard, and then we have this Minecraft server, this is the GUI of your server, so you have memory use, threads, average tick, average send, average record, level tick, so each world has its own tick, that's uh, how fast, and um, that, that's the basically time in Minecraft, uh, server chunk, catch, lots of other things which you probably won't even use, then world, it generates a world, band IPs, band players, um, ops, so if you want to be an operator, the server log, uh, another file, the server properties, and a whitelist. Now I'm, I'm going to stop the server and then go through the property files with you. You run the command stop, and then it will save chunks for the world, and then everything will close. Just move this here. Now, if we open up this, I use a um, program called Programmer's Notepad. It's very useful because if you're going to get into big servers, you have a lot of uh, configuration files, and it's very good. Um, it just makes this very nice. It makes all the, the hashtag things. When, when you hashtag something in code, it means it basically doesn't. It means it's not there. So generator settings you can have a world generator for your world um, and that would like for example if you've ever played Skylands that uses a Skylands generator allow nether allows people to use nether portals level name world if you if you rerun the server and rename this level to something else then it will make a new world called whatever you put here 
uh, enable this is the default world what um, enable query that's only if you're um, if you're putting your server on Minecraft websites like Planet Minecraft and then those websites want to um, um, take information from your server um, allow flight that allows player to fly usually with hacking server port this is I'm going to be running through a tutorial on how to port forward your server uh, so be sure to watch that and I'll talk about that level type default that's a default terrain enable archon I'm not really sure what that is level seed um, that puts a seed world generator so if you put something random in that would always be the same world because that's the level seed force game mode server IP that's another thing max build height spawn NPCs whitelist spawn animals snooper enabled that's nothing you need to worry about hardcore that's hardcore mode texture pack you can actually link a texture pack in here I'll be doing a tutorial on that um, be sure to watch that so when players join in they down are forced to download a texture pack um, online mode true that allows players with who have bought Minecraft that allows only them to connect and not hacked Minecraft accounts. PvP true, difficulty 1, that's the difficulty of the server. Game mode 0, that's the default game mode players will spawn in. 0 is survival, 1 is creative. Max players 20, so when you look on the server um, on your multiplayer browser on Minecraft it will say uh, however many out of 20. Spawn monsters true. So that obviously allows monsters to spawn, generate structures, that's dungeons, all that sort of NPC villages. New distance, don't uh, mess around with that because that uh, changes, um, that probably will annoy your players. And then MOTD, a Minecraft server. Now, you probably want to change this, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'd call it Joe's Minecraft server. And then you can see it change. We'll save this. And then what we want to do is I'll see you in game, I'll press launch, and then I'll see you there. Now that we're in game, we're going to head over to multiplayer, add server, server name, Joe's server, and then server address localhost, localhost, and this is the, um, this is the default, this is what you put in if you're hosting the server on your own computer and you just want to test it out and then it should come up with Joe's Minecraft server logging in and then hooray it has worked and we are in the desert so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll be doing some uh, I've got some more about if you want a public IP to allow your friends to join if you want to do it with Hamachi so over LAN um, and also if you want to have an IP address that has, is personalised so for example teamsilam.hopto.org and I'll also be showing you how to make a craft bucket server on how to and how to get plugins like factions and MCMMO and all those all those good things that uh, you um, possibly enjoy playing on, on other servers so uh, thank you very much for watching um, this has been Joe from Teams ILM see you guys later